Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me for week three of STEM Sundays with Emily. We have a really fun activity that also has some real world implications, so I'm excited to share it with you guys today. Today we'll be investigating how soap and germs interact. Have you ever wondered why we actually need to use soap to clean our hands? Well, hopefully today you'll learn the reason why and realize why it's so important that we lather up, especially during these COVID pandemic times. So let's get into the materials we'll need. All very easy, and I'm sure you have all of them at your house already. First, we just have a bowl full of water. I got this from the tap. It's about room temperature, not too hot, not too cold. We are going to be dipping our fingers into it today, so we wanna make sure that it's a comfortable temperature and we're not burning or freezing our fingers. Next, I have some pepper. I have these pepper packets, but a pepper shaker will do just fine. We just need a decent amount of pepper. Next, we have some dish soap. This is a pretty generic brand, but any brand from your local supermarket or that you have at home will do just fine. I put a small amount into this bowl, as you can see. Again, we're going to be dipping our fingers into it, so I figured that was easier than trying to squeeze some of the dish soap out onto my finger for the activity. So you could use a plate, a small bowl like this, or try whatever you'd like. But for me, I thought it was easiest to squeeze a little bit into the bowl. And lastly, some napkins. We are going to be using our fingers and they are going to be getting wet and a little bit dirty. So having some napkins or paper towels nearby is probably a good idea. Hopefully we won't make any more of a mess than that, but just in case it's better, better safe than sorry. So let's get into the activity. The bowl of water today is going to be representing our, the surface of your skin. So even though it's water, the way that the pepper and the water will be interacting, it'll be a really great description and a depictor of what germs look like on our skin. So with our bowl of water, we're going to take some pepper packets or pepper from your pepper shaker and add it to the surface of the water. Now the pepper will be acting like germs. So in everyday life, if you look at your hand or anything, you can't see germs, which would probably make life easier if we could see where it was dirty, but unfortunately that's not how it works. So today we'll be using pepper and it'll be a visual representation of what germs look like on our skin. So let's add some pepper. You wanna shake it so that it's covering the surface evenly. I'm going to add just a few of these so that you'll be able to see it and pick it up on the video. So if you have a pepper shaker, it's the same motion. You just wanna cover it evenly and so that we have enough on there that we'll be able to see what happens. All right, I'll do one more just for the ease of the video. You probably won't need as much as I'm putting in at home, but I wanna make sure that everyone on here can see exactly what's happening. There we go. Okay, so as I mentioned, remove all this garbage. As I mentioned, the water will be acting like the surface of your skin, say your hand, for example, and the pepper is representing germs. So right now we have a very, very dirty hand. As you can see, the pepper is completely covering the surface of the water, which means we have a lot of germs on this, on this skin. So what we'll do now is see what happens and how germs react when we have a dirty hand or an unwashed hand. So I haven't washed my hands in probably 10 minutes since I set up this activity. So you wanna make sure that you, know, you haven't just washed your hands or you don't have any soap on them, maybe dry them off on a paper towel or a napkin, and then you'll take your bare finger and stick it into the bowl. So let's see what happens. Nothing, really. You can see though that you have some pepper or some germs coating your finger now. So because we have an unwashed hand, the germs will stick to you and that's how germs act in real life. If you're walking in the supermarket or you're at school or you're at dance, anything you touch, you're probably picking up germs from it. So that's why it's important now so we have a dirty hand that after we're leaving stores, we get home and we wash them so we can clean the germs off. So now let's see what happens when we wash our hands and how soap and germs really do interact with each other. So let's take a napkin, 
We just clean off our finger a little bit here. Brand new. And so now, let me move this. Now we're going to take our small container of soap or whatever you're using, and you're going to lightly dip your finger into the soap. I'm just gonna wipe the excess off on the bowl. You don't want too much. Okay, so now, probably can't tell, but I have soap all over my, my pointer finger. And so now we're going to stick this, let me move this a little bit so you can see what happens. We're going to stick our soap covered finger into the bowl and see what happens. Ready? So as you can see, the pepper has moved completely to the outside of the bowl, away from my finger. And so when you have soap and you're using, your, you're using soap to wash your hands, I mean, that's what happens. The germs become mobile and they'll move away from the soap. And when you rub your hands together and the pressure from the faucet all interact and combine, that's how we're able to move the soap on our hands. That gets the germs moving away. And then the pressure of the rubbing and the pressure of the faucet will wash the germs off of your hands. They'll make the germs go completely away from the soap source and you'll have clean, fresh hands, clean, fresh water. So that's why it's so important, especially in today's times that we're washing our hands. I'm gonna clean up my hands now as I, as I talk. But with COVID, when we're going to the grocery store, if we're going to school, anytime you get back from being out in public, it's a really good idea to wash up your hands, get those germs off your hands, and so we're not transmitting them from place to place. So I hope you enjoyed this activity today. Feel free feel free to try this with different activities. Maybe see if temperature does play a difference in water. Maybe see if you can uh, find other things that will serve as germs instead of pepper. It's completely up to you. And as you can see, it's a very simple activity to set up and we didn't make a mess. So it's pretty awesome if you, if you ask me. So I did want to talk a little bit about the activity next week. I'm very excited about it. I think I'm going to say that about all of these activities but I am really excited about next week. We're going to be creating hand crank winches. So a winch is one of the simple elements that makes up engineering. So there are a list of seven elements and they're all standard. So the winch is one of them. And I'm really excited we'll be able to make these at home using some at home materials. Hopefully giving you a list now will give you a week to save up some, some of these materials and get ready for the hand winch. So you're going to need some cardboard tubes. So that will come from your paper towels, uh, toilet paper, any of those sort of, um, anything that comes on a roll, just save the cardboard tube. You're going to need some string, some tape, uh, scissors. And if you have a spool that you could pull from or you have access from thread or ribbon that would be a really great idea but you don't need it and then the last material you'll need is a pencil or a straw so i know it's a little bit longer of a list than the last two weeks of activities that we've done but it is a very cool activity and very hands-on and i can't wait to share it with you the last thing before we go for today i wanted to let you know about an idea that i have for upcoming STEM Sundays with Emily. The last week of every month, I've decided to do a very special video each month. So I have this activity at home called Snap Circuits. I'll add a link to the bottom in the comments for this video. I think they're so much fun. I was introduced to them when I was volunteering at my local library in North Syracuse. I think they're a very fun, very informative activity for children. And every Sunday, the last Sunday of every month, I should say, I'll be doing activities using the Snap Circuits Kit. And I believe I have the Junior Edition. It comes with over 100 activities. There are bigger versions that have up to 300, even 500 activities that you can do with one easy kit. So I'm excited to show you guys the power of Snap Circuits. You can teach your children and students about circuitry and electricity which is in our lives every day surrounding us. 
So I'll link that for you to purchase. I got mine and it came within two days. So <laughs> gotta love the two day shipping. But a lot of information. I hope you enjoyed this video today and had fun learning about the importance of soap and why we really need to wash our hands, especially in today's day and age. So thank you guys again and have fun playing. Bye.